In this video, we are going to look at Biology 2017, Paper 2, Question 3. So the information says, Figure 3.0 shows the life cycle of a mosquito. So you have the first stage, eggs in water, larva in water, pupa in water, and an adult stage. So the first question says, identify two stages in Figure 3.0 which are most suitable for eradicating malaria so the most suitable stages for eradicating ma ma malaria uh, in the life cycle of a mosquito is stage two and stage three so stage two and stage three when it's uh, it's at uh, stage four it means uh, the mosquito is, is already transmitting malaria so the best are stage two and three and sometimes even stage one, even stage one, you can also s kill the eggs of mosquitoes when they are still in the water. Then for each stage identified in A1 above, state how malaria may be eradicated, okay? Using the stages that we have mentioned, stage two and three, how can you er eradicate malaria? All right, in stage two and three, you can eradicate ma malaria by number one, number one, using oil or applying oil in water. Okay? By applying oil in water. So this oil is going to prevent the diffusion of oxygen in the in the water causing the lava to suffocate and die okay so use oil or just applying oil in the water to suffocate the lava because there will be shortage of oxygen so stage two So in stage two, you can use biological biological control, such as fish to feed. So the fish is going to feed on the pupa okay so how can you control so we are saying you can control the spread of mal malaria in this stage by applying oil to suffocate the the lava in the water because there will be no oxygen then in stage three you can use biological uh, control such as using fish putting fish in water so that they eat or they feed on the pupa the next question says state two ways in which malaria can be controlled in the community okay how can you control malaria in the community number one is to encourage people encourage people to sleep under a treated a treated mosquito net so one way is to encourage people to sleep under a treated mosquito net so when answering this question you need to be careful because don't just say by using a mosquito net because other people use mosquito nets for other reasons for other purposes okay some may use it for fishing may misuse it for fishing okay so you have to be accurate and precise as you're answering this question to say by encouraging people to sleep under a treated mosquito net the second way in which you can control mal malaria in the community is by cutting cutting all 
tall grasses. Okay? By cutting all tall grasses. So, when you cut all the tall grasses, it means mosquitoes won't be hiding there. But B says, what term is given to the mosquito based on its role in, in the transmission of malaria pathogen? So, a mosquito, because it, it transmits the, the malaria pathogen, it is referred to as the biological biological vector. C1 says define pathogen. So a pathogen is a is a disease causing organism. So a pathogen is a disease causing organism or any organism that causes disease or diseases. C2 says, name the malaria-causing pathogen. So the malaria-causing pathogen is called Plasmodium, Plasmodium falciparum. So the malaria-causing pathogen is called Plasmodium falciparum. Okay? So you have to know that the malaria-causing pathogen is called uh, plasmodium falciparum not only plasmodium there are a lot of other plasmodium but specifically the one that causes malaria is called plasmodium falciparum all right thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and 